I was watching a clip by Shahid Bolson, a brother Shahid Bolson has uh, stated some of the most amazing facts when it comes to the whole procedure of uh, having the benefit of the doubt when you're boycotting a company or a brand. He was talking particularly about Starbucks. He said that uh, when he used to live in uh, Michigan, he was... Um, he was drinking a lot of coffee and he always was at Starbucks and uh, he saw that uh, a lot of Arabs were there as well and they had to change the timings to 24 hours to cater uh, the demand. So he said that he will be drafting an email which is supposed to be sent to Starbucks, uh, the franchises in different countries because they do want to open up in other countries as well including Muslim countries and at this very moment the previous CEO of Starbucks who was very pro-Zionist uh, and pro-Israel, he missed the whole image of Starbucks. So he meant that uh, we should at least send uh, an email to not just Starbucks, but every other franchise, of course, including McDonald's. I'm in Norway, so maybe McDonald's Norway should, uh, should also uh, tell us their views about what they think about the genocide happening in uh, Palestine. This is probably one of the most um, important times in the history. If you think about this, we are witnessing genocide. We are witnessing massacre. And if we don't raise our voice, we are actually in it together. Well, it's okay that you don't want to drink coffee from Starbucks, I don't. It's okay that you don't want to have a, a filet of fish from a, a McDonald's. I'm not buying any more McDonald's now. But the thing is that at least we should get a message out that we the consumers are going to support you if you as a franchise can stand up and say, we, the brand, stand with the oppressed. We are gonna donate this much money because they did to Ukraine. I remember, I am one of the, I'm one of the biggest um, charity collectors in Norway as a single individual. On one of the biggest crowdfunding sites in Norway, I've collected about two mil, and then I collected about 10 mil total. Uh, for different uh, charity organizations in Norway. So I have a huge network. So I know what I'm talking about. These people donated hundreds of thousands of crones to Ukraine. Ukraine almost got about 50 to 60 mil on some of the campaigns. And um, buses were sent and they came back with refugees. But at this time, anybody who talks about going to Palestine to defend uh, the Palestinians is of course a terrorist in their view. For me, it's a freedom fighter. So let's let's talk about this. Should you be sending a message or email to Starbucks? Yes, in Norway. Should you be sending uh, an email to McDonald's having the benefit of the doubt? Yes, I'm gonna do it. I hope you do it as well. So let's see if we can get a response because obviously they have a marketing uh, team, they have a PR team, they know what they have to say. And most of the people that are pro-Palestinian they will support a company that supports uh, this stance. It's not that if you're with Israel or you're with Palestine, this is a genocide. And if you're not taking the part of uh, uh, the whole thing and you're not uh, on that side, on the other side of uh, the oppressor, then you have to be on the right side. And the right side is the side of the innocent children, innocent women, men, aid workers are being bombed at this moment. I saw a clip where they said, that uh, American aid workers are being bombed. Can you imagine this? Can you, can you imagine a state like Israel? Can you imagine somebody being so evil? And can you imagine the world uh, standing just still if this was happening to a European country by, let's say, Turkey, for example? What would happen to Turkey? They would uh, shut down every Turkish shop in Norway, 100%. So that is a double standard we need to uh, talk about.